Hello and welcome to Creative Nurse. Today we've got a quick tip to show you on how to use Illustrator to create spiral blends. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to start off with a width of 800 pixels by and a height of 600 pixels. Size of the document doesn't really matter. It's just my personal preference, and you might find it easier to follow. But it doesn't really matter what size the canvas size is. Okay, so we're going to start off. We're going to select the brush tool. We're just going to ensure that it's just a normal brush stroke. Then all we're going to do is draw two a wiggly line and draw another wiggly line overlapping that one we just created. Okay, so we're going to go to the selection tool, select both of the lines that we just drew using the brush tool, select object, we're going to go to blend options. And we're going to ensure that specified steps is 12, 1, 2, 12, and drop down menu, specified steps, and orientation, align to page, the first one. And select the OK one. And we're going to go to objects again, blend, make. And there we go, we've created a quick spiral blend effect using Illustrator. We can create all types of shapes just depending upon what type of line you draw and how you overlap the shapes. So again, if I show you again, object, blend, make. There you go. Just a quick tip I thought I would share with you. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip and we would love if you could share your thoughts upon the quick tip within a comment below or if you have any questions upon anything you might have got stuck on or anything you'd like us to further break down for you. Thanks for watching and we we'll look forward and hope you look forward to our next screencast. Alright, bye.